Hello, my friend, Pastor Kurt here, and I got a question for you. Are you eating too many sweets? It's that time of the year. Someone just literally gave me this this morning. Listen to all that wrapper sound. And what's inside that wrapper? It's homemade chocolate gooeyness with peanuts and marshmallows in it. Yeah, I'm gonna be eating these later. See, we're at that time of the year when there's cookies everywhere. The Bible says that's okay. The Bible actually teaches that there's a time for feasting and a time for fasting. That famous passage in Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verse four, it says it this way. There's a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. There's a time for feasting and there's a time for fasting. And by the way, Christmas, you guessed it, it's the time for feasting. But here's the problem. Some people, they feast on the food and the parties and even overindulge in alcohol and they fast from God. It's a double whammy. There's literally a syndrome called holiday heart syndrome where people wreck their health because they think, I need a break, so I'm gonna be unhealthy for too long. Here's my thing, feast a little bit, but feast on God too. Lengthen your devotion time, get up and spend some time with God. Don't miss church just because you're getting a couple days off from work and get to a Christmas service. Sing the Christmas carols. Let your heart be merry. Feast on God. And then have another helping, a roast beast, and get some apple pie too. And when January comes, then you can do your fasting. Then you can have that moment where you say, I'm gonna have a little bit of self-control. Both in balance with God in the middle. That's the way to do life. And by the way, we still got tons of room at the Christmas services. Go ahead, select a service online and bring a friend. You will be so glad you did. I'll see you there.